I've got my ideas. Yeah. yeah, it's a serious problem and uh, probably going to be our biggest challenge. I do, because this is where we're going. This mm -hmm. is the way it, it happens. Absolutely. And um, I mean, my photographer, who's a professional commercial photographer, he, yeah, took, he took slides of, or digital shots of my most recent paintings. And when I got them back, I said, this is not how they look. And he kept saying, yes, they do, yes, they do. And I said, no, they do. And, <laughs> and I thought, oh, dear, you know, that's just too machine. It is different. What's going to happen on the... I can't help but all I can see is this yellow bunny. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fascinating painting, but all I can see is this little fat yellow bunny. <laughs> You're not disappointed. Usually, um, they're better than they looked on a film or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, they don't, usually the only thing that surprises you is size. You might think a little painting was big. Yeah. And then you get here and it's a small hmm. piece. And that's where the surprises end up. There is one. That and is one. That's a hard... As beautiful as this is, beautifully done, it's wet into wet, and like you say, there's some mystery and there's some nice light counterpoints going on. But it is pretty static ah, in how it's yeah. composed. Divided into thirds, and, and she's got that right in the center of but ge that's, but geometric see, that's, with organic. But see, that's uh, some of these others yes, have broken the rules. Uh, certainly the little boxcars yes. is a perfect example of break the rules and make it work. But you have to know the rule in order to know yeah. whether you've broken it successfully or not. Or not. And I don't feel that, I feel this artist just quit too soon. Mm -hmm. I would like to, it's all, it, it's all too much the same. Talking about edges, without a variety of edges within the paintings, you don't get, um, you don't hold your viewer long enough. If it's too much the same, the painting down here with the lady in the chair, you said edges on that, but those edges are all the same. Oh, really? That artist stopped too soon as well. Uh-huh. That painting needs to go up a few more notches, and I would start with edges. And one, one zinger color that doesn't belong there is... My God, that's this. That's true, yes, that's true. This, my brain doesn't work in these little tiny pieces. <laughs> but it <that> does. <laughs> but really, when you look at it as one big shape, and then a medium-sized shape, and then a small one, well placed on the picture uh -huh. to keep you within some beautiful color detail out the wazoo. I love this play here against those plays. Now what? Yeah. You know, I mean that's gorgeous, but. Okay, you show me that you know how to paint, and good technique and good color and all the rest of that technical stuff. But what if, what do you say? You see, you know what I'm saying. Right. They're just re they're just reporting on the flowers, and I think that's where they're missing it. Where I think this artist 
was really thinking about design and and a lot. <laughs> it, the painting will mean a lot more to me now that I uh, think of it in that terms, terms of design. Yes. Reason. Of course, the boxers down there. Oh, first of all, the idea of painting boxers with as a subject. Period. With fish, fish and puzzle pieces is amazing. I did. I love that too. What and the back. Oh, the back of that figure is just it got. And the abstract next to it is has nowhere else to go unless you want to say I need one little dark up there in that half circle. But we had to mat it, and uh, my framer. I mean, when you look at it, this looked like he was testing these colors on the oh. piece because the paper came out about this far. Yeah. I mean, and it was like, does that is that? And then we looked at his signature and thought. Well, it has to be, so I look at the photograph, and it was. Yeah, that well, was there. That's important. That and how spot. interesting. I mean, a lot of people would say, oh, that's a tangent. You shouldn't be there. But I like what it does to the piece. Be totally perfected as far as technique. It's an unusual design. Um, there's lots of subtleties and layers and um, translucent passages. Yeah. Um, it's a very interesting painting. Very. The landscape next to it is beautifully designed. It's amazing. I love the box cars, but I like this one as well, which I think is almost the identical painting down here, and I just feel that that one was perfected technically a little bit farther along. This one, just because they took these big shapes, tackling the big shapes, right. is a little braver, a little more courageous than the small ones, but the boxcar on the left is beautifully done, and he really does, that's a real balance weight issue that whoever that is has done extremely well. That one, if that was a full sheet, then he'd really have something. It's almost being a little timid by this thing. It's not the easiest way to do it. Set them down on the floor and then I can grab them in an order. beautiful line work of the wires and things in the sky to break up that big, big shape. And that is your exhibition for the 2010 Western Federation of Watercolor Societies held here in Salt Lake City, Utah.